What is up, you guys? So it's time for the tag to finally go out. We're going to do the B20 swap on my B18, B1, Acura Integra, 1998 LS. Have 300 and, I think, 13,000 miles on it. It wasn't firing up, so I thought it was finally dead. What we're looking at here is an HMO Motors uh, from Steve, California. This is a JDM B20, and paid $1,400 bucks for this. Now, I found out it actually didn't come with the transmission, so I thought I was getting transmission, uh, but it's just the engine. So maybe I overpaid, but one good thing, it's actually really clean. So if you look at the video here, um, definitely pretty clean. Um, about 50,000 miles, and pretty happy with it. Um, oil pan, where it was sitting on the crate over the trip, could be a little sketchy, but it looks okay. I've got an oil pan gasket, so I'll probably swap it out, although this one actually doesn't look like it's leaking at all. So I've got the alternator on there. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty clean. It's got distributor. I'm going to have to swap over the intake, but there's a few things I can take off the intake there to keep, maybe flip or just keep for extra parts. And um, overall pretty clean, pretty happy with it. <clears throat> And um, yeah, spark plug wires. So the old green tag is gonna live again. Now the funny thing about the green tag is we got it out there and we wanna just run some basic di di diagnostics. So we turned the key, he wasn't seeing the engine light. He's like saying, hey, the main relay and all this crap. But I was like, no, let me pull the cluster because I pulled the bulbs. <laughs> I think I had the couple bulbs flashing at me and I didn't wanna burn them out, so I just pulled the bulb. So here you'll see I put a bulb in where the check engine light would be. And that's the back side of the cluster. Pretty easy to get to. As long as you don't pull don't pull anything on the original thing, you'll break something. But okay, so you'll see the check engine light is on. So what you want to do is fire it up and then see if we could get spark. And I thought we had spark before at my house when we tested it. I don't, I don't know if we did or didn't, but right now we're getting no spark. So we want to find out if there's something electrical going on before we start like taking shit apart and messing with stuff. It's probably better to diagnose it now. But basically, uh, he asked me, since it wasn't running, uh, did I try the distributor? So I actually went home, got another distributor, and the damn engine fired right up. So I probably could have been driving this car, not even have it towed, I just didn't try the distributor, so, you know, you live and learn, but I, it's definitely, I feel a little silly, but um, the car fired up. We did compression tests. I had a 150 on cylinder 1, 2, and 4, but only 90 compression on cylinder 3, and it was dropping when we tested again, so we're going to make the switch. I probably would have driven the car a little more, but we'll make the switch. So next day, we're pulling some stuff out, making a little progress. It's early in the morning here. And uh, pressure washed the engine and the bay and got everything kind of cleaned up. You know, initial clean. We could work on everything. Now, there was music in this in first video that I made. We were talking and there was music. But YouTube was going to uh, not even let it be shown. So I have to kind of talk over this video. So bear with me, guys. But yeah, everything's clean. Right now, everything is coming off real easy, real smooth, feeling like real positive, you know. Uh, power steering. So yeah, basically 313,000 miles on this engine definitely cleaned up pretty good. It's funny that it was still running, though. So technically, it didn't die. So, you know, put an asterisk there. I may try to get it and fix it. Now, the first problem we ran into when we moved the exhaust manifold was that bolt was stripped all to hell. And the more we tried, the worse it got. So we're trying to heat it up, hammer down, and pull it off. It still didn't work, so we're probably going to have to cut that off. But um, at this point, not really concerned about anything. Still feeling positive. So, yeah. Not much to report here. So now the next um, thing, since I know what's coming up, is the first major thing that concerns me here. So this is my lower left motor mount. 
and unfortunately I'm finding that the damn frame is stripped so I can't even get this out so I'm not exactly sure what uh, my best options are so anyway read this and stay tuned for my next video y'all peace out